Hi guys, hi, it's Belen here with my gardening adventure and I'm so happy to bring you guys to my backyard. As promised, I had said that I would give you guys a tour. In Spanish, we usually say, lo prometido es deuda. So what I have promised is a debt. So let me get started with the tour of my backyard. So on this side, forgive my mess. We've had a great summer, but anyways, on this side, uh, it used to not be here before when we moved into the house in early May and we opened this up. We planted habanero poppers over here. We planted some tomatoes that I think in one of the videos I mentioned it didn't go very well. But I've got some um, garlic going here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm not sure if it will come back. Um, next year but we're gonna give it a try and see how that goes so that's my first garden bed I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do here but I've got some plants I'm thinking maybe my sweet peas um I'm not sure yet we'll we'll have to see what we do this is probably oh gosh I want to say a 12 by 3 maybe I'm gonna take you guys over here now to this is what I called my shade area and that's because if you guys can see I have a lot of trees going here um, I removed a lot of vegetation that was here early on um, I'll try to put some pictures of what it used to look like before I might not have some but you can see it's a uh, bit of trees so this is my shade area and um, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do. If you can see this, my fire hydrant, that was actually um, under my garage when I first moved in and it's not real. It's just paint there for decoration. One issue that I had last year is I bought a hydrangea and I put it there. You can see it's going on there and it didn't do that well. So I'm going to see if it does anything this year. Otherwise, I'm going to probably remove it from there. But this area is going to be my shade area. And then over here, I also have another um, hydrangea going on here and it is also a shade area. All of the bricks that you see making the border, they used to not be there. I'll show you where they were before, but um, I'm planning to, to put a lot of plants there. And I did last year. You can see some of the leftover from, from last year. It's January 1st, by the way. This little bed is actually going to serve as my herb bed and I had some mint going here I know it can be invasive and that was one mistake that I made I guess by planting it there but um, we'll see how it does next year if I need to I'll cut it but otherwise we're gonna keep going with the herb bed there now this is also a pretty shady area and the dirt is pretty dry I'm not sure if it's because I have this huge pine tree going on here but it's pretty shady and it didn't do very well for me i i feel like the dirt was very dry and i think you can you know kind of see that over there i i'm not sure how you, i don't think i can show you but it's it's a dry area here this area we put steps last year because it was actually just dirt there and you can see kind of how steep i guess that slope or i don't know what you call it is but we put those there last year the only mistake i made um, and i encourage you that if you ever put steps you put something about you know four or five inches or six inches or look into what a regular step is because i think these are one inch or two inch steps and it kind of feels like you're going to trip when you go down them but i have some um lilies going on here i think they're blue i don't remember the name i'll try to look it up and see if i can put some pictures now here i've also got this area for plants i think i'm going to do plants here um, this is my blue moon wisteria and this is what it's looking like now but um i got it just very very small in early in early of this year and it was to here and it got all the way up here. Um, I am going to put a trellis. We were going to do that before the winter started. 
but we didn't get a chance so you can see where the holes are um, but you know we we weren't able to so unfortunately we didn't put our trellis one of the areas that I'm very excited about is actually this one that you can see behind me um, I'm gonna show you a little bit closer and also well forgive my grill my husband likes to grill a lot but this area here it's next to my garage and what's interesting about my house is that um, the garage is actually a by level I guess you can see that so there's an area down below this and an area upstairs I guess you can see how that goes kind of I don't know this is the back um, this but is actually a 10 by Eight, I believe and I'm going to put tomatoes I think going there um, and I'm just gonna put so many plants here I don't know if this is a good angle to show it um, I'm not quite sure what that thing in the corner is but there's no sewer going down there um, we opened it not too long ago and it's completely shut off but there are some old bricks so there's nothing I have to worry about that now here in this curve that you can see here I'm going to put annual plants or maybe some perennials but I'm gonna fill it all with plants for the um, pollinators from this angle you can kind of see my whole backyard and like I said I got a significantly big area because if you can tell I have a house here or not my house but my neighbor's house and then there's another house there but this here and over there belongs to my house so I'm actually sitting on two lots so let's go take a look at the second lot on our way to the second lot well part of the second lot starts kind of in this area like I said I have a bi-level garage so there's the other part of the garage but here I'm going to put annuals that wall is kind of leaning over I know I know I want to get rid of it but it's expensive um, right now it doesn't seem like it's gonna completely fall over so I'm just gonna leave it there until it does what it does but that's the idea some annuals or zinnias there I'm not sure but it will look pretty and then I'm just gonna have more plants going on here so this is the other part of my lot this retaining wall needs work and I got a quote it was eight thousand dollars and I don't think I'm gonna go that route um, me and my husband may try to fix it on our own but otherwise this is gonna be a big project that we'll have to work on in the future um, we opened up this area from the bricks all the way where they curve over we opened it up and um, it's a place that we were working on we didn't do much with it last year but um, we did clear up a lot of this of this yard this tree is actually um, is it rose of chardon or chardon uh, tree and it's actually the flower that you see on my YouTube um, picture display it's a very very nice very nice tree um, so here we go looking more into it like I said the bricks actually came from the area that I showed you over there that I had opened up they were there and it was surrounded by rows of chardons and I decided to remove them and add them here and so this is what we're doing the only issue is like I said I'm living in Chicago in the burbs of Chicago and our winters are cold but I've got weeds here all over the place and one mistake that I made was actually tilling the ground I guess and all of this came up which is unfortunate but we'll see next year what we do about it we're gonna have to remove it um, as you see here I've got the big border that's an issue again um, it didn't really used to look that bad but it does but if I could I would have it two and then plants over in this area so you can see there's a lot of trees and um, some stuff growing there but I think I'm gonna leave that actually as a spot for compost in the future so I'm gonna remove that or burn the wood um, and then just build a compost there 
these trees do belong to my lot and I don't like them I don't know what the name is but I'm going to eventually remove them and I hope to add some blueberry bushes and hopefully um, maybe some hydrangeas maybe some apple trees I'm not sure but that's that's the plan right now I do know I have some type of hydrangea going on here that I cleaned up um, back in August but I don't remember again what the name is exactly so from this view you can see what the back of this lot looks like and like I said it's actually a pretty big lot I have two lots in the back of my house where there should only be kind of two houses area so like I said I have a significantly big yard I think this is one of the houses that has more of a yard than any other one I've seen so I'm very excited the only issue is in this part you can see there's kind of a slope there and um, it doesn't really help me I want to put some garden bands for for flowers but I don't think this is gonna help I don't think you can see it well enough but there it is kind of goes that way so from this view you can see what the back of this lot looks like and like I said it's actually a pretty big lot I have two lots in the back of my house where there should only be kind of two houses area so like I said I have a significantly big yard I think this is one of the houses that has more of a yard than any other one I've seen so I'm very excited the only issue is in this part you can see there's kind of a slope there and um, it doesn't really help me I want to put some garden bands for for flowers but I don't think this is gonna help I don't think you can see it well enough but there it is kind of goes that way so I'm just walking back over to my first lot um, but here I've got obviously uh, I've got some kids and they like their trampoline but I've also got a composter I'm gonna ditch that and I'm just gonna go with the regular um, cost compost area but here we used to have a tree that we dug up and removed because we didn't like it but what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is um, plant a bit of sunflower plants which I think is gonna look beautiful there So here I'm going to head back up to my first lot, I guess, my first lot of the house. Um, I'm very happy with, with the house that I got. Um, it's a 1900 house, it's kind of Victorian, um, but I really love that it has two lots for as much as I can do. So this is also continuing from my, sorry, I have the light on a little bit because it's uh, getting dark over here but this is still my shade area and i'm going to remove some of the trees you see here i've already marked them you can see with this um i don't know i don't know if you can see it it's some i think it's a foil gosh i didn't have anything else better to use it but um we've got debris from trees that we cut off and again all of these bricks used to be over there so they came in handy we reused them um, we're just going to keep them there cut off some more trees I love these these actually are very pretty pine, uh, I don't know pine trees I don't know um, but they've got some how uh, what is it it's a growing vine I can't remember but it smells so good it's a yellow and um, blue flower you can kind of see it falling off of there on this area we used to have all trees and we removed them it's pretty much all the debris from there but um, we are going to plant annual plants or flowers for cutting here at least that's my goal I do think I have a hydrangea going on here but um, my husband wants to plant some tulips so we'll have to split we also have some roses here um, they did very well I saw them in my neighborhood and I really liked them so I had to go to the nursery and get them obviously they're not doing anything right now but they're there and I've also got some white hydrangeas going back there 
Um, this is an area that my husband worked on and uh, it doesn't look too pretty but uh, we hope that next year we'll be able to fix it up again like I said we did a lot of work in the yard it doesn't look like it but there really was a lot done um, so we hope that we can have some more stuff done for this year this is the front of the house and then over here I'm excited about this little area this little bed the front bed um, I've got a firelight hydrangea there that I'm looking forward to seeing bloom again. It did um, three blooms and it was very, very, very pretty. Um, for any of you that know the firelight, that's what I did. And then I also had some marigolds going around, which were actually very beautiful too. Okay guys, well that was a tour of my yard. I hope you liked it. Now I'm at the front porch. So again, um, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching my channel and I hope you really liked it. I hope I can teach you something. I hope you can teach me something and I hope we can grow together. And again, thanks and um, see you again next time. Bye.